What's going on resellers, hypebeasts, and sneakerheads, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Duncan Beaumont, and today we will be talking about one of the most iconic sneaker releases of 2021, the Raging Bull Jordan 5s. These will be returning on Saturday, April 10th for a retail price of $190, and no doubt they are a classic sneaker. They originally released back in 2009, so they're not an OG colorway, but they might as well be, as most people do consider this one of the classic Air Jordan 5 colors. Ways. Now, since this is such an iconic shoe, it's not actually going to be a guaranteed cop. Usually Jordan 5s are a guaranteed cop if you know what you're doing, but for these, a classic colorway, they're going to be fairly limited, fairly hard to cop. There's a decent amount of demand for them. So in this video, we are going to be covering how to cop these shoes manually and for retail. We'll also be going over resale predictions and talking about whether or not these are worth the cop to resell if that's something you're interested in. But if you are interested in that, definitely make sure you do stick around for the entire video those resale predictions will be towards the end but anyways guys if that does sound good make sure you smash that thumbs up for some good luck copying these raging bull fives also if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe as well these videos will be coming out for all hyped up sneaker releases also one quick update on the cook group it is closed we had a lot of people join we've had a lot of success so far so if that is something you're interested in just stay tuned there will be another drop at the beginning of next month and then the month after that and all of that so definitely make sure you guys do stay tuned but anyways guys now that we got that intro out of the way we're gonna start the video off by going over some raffles you need to enter now there's two main raffles the first one is going to be FLX raffles. These are raffles for in-store pickup at your local Foot Locker, Foot Action, or Champ stores. So if you have a store near you, definitely doesn't hurt to download those three apps, create an FLX account, and then enter in these raffles to pick the shoes up in-store. Pretty self-explanatory. I do have a complete video on this. So if you do want to check that video out, I'll have it linked below down in the description. But yeah, guys, those are FLX raffles. The other raffles I recommend entering, or the other raffle I should say, is going to be on the Hibbit sports app this is actually not a raffle for in-store pickup they do have an in-store option but if you don't have a store near you they will ship them to you so definitely make sure you do enter in this hibbit sports raffle as well now there's a few other online raffles for these but they get pretty expensive with shipping and taxes so if you have any other local stores near you you can definitely check those out see what they're doing dtlr finish line they're probably going to be giving out tickets so just check those stores out at your local mall see what's up see what they're doing for these releases is it going to be first come first serve is going to be a raffle that's basically what you need to do for your local stores but anyways guys now we do have those raffles out of the way we're going to talk about where to actually cop these on the official release date on Saturday, April 10th. Most of the releases will be taking place at 10 a.m. Eastern time, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what sites to go for in what order in order to maximize your chances of copying. All right, guys, so the first site you are gonna to wanna to set up for about a minute before the drop is gonna be Finish Line. This is a Q release. There's also gonna be JD Sports and Snipes. So it's Finish Line, JD Sports, and Snipes. All you have to do is just open a link for Finish Line and JD Sports, literally just open Finish Line. For snipes, you do have to go to the releases section, find the shoe, click on it, and you'll be placed in a waiting room. Same deal for all of these. You're just placed in a waiting room, and then if you do get selected to go through the waiting room, you have to select the shoe, select your size, check out as fast as possible. So it's pretty self-explanatory. Will take place 10 a.m. Eastern time. They got all the sizes releasing. Finish Line and JD Sports, their sites are exactly the same. Snipes is a little different, but they are all gonna be Q releases. So a minute or two before the drop, again, just open up a tab for all three of these sites. Now next up, the site you are actually gonna wanna focus on right at 10 a.m. Eastern time is gonna be Hibbit Sports. And for this site, you are gonna need to have an iPhone and you're gonna need to have Apple Pay set up, unfortunately. But how you do this on your iPhone, go on Safari, go on Hibbit Sports, and you should have Apple Pay set up, like I said. You'll be on this page right here with the timer counting down. When it hits five seconds left, refresh the page. It should take a second, sizes should load, and you should be able to check out very fast with Apple Pay. Just select your size, hit Apple Pay. Don't add to cart or anything like that. Now, a lot of people have had a lot of errors with the CAPTCHA. I don't have a way around this. Basically, what you need to do is just hope that you don't get a CAPTCHA. If you do, you can try turning airplane mode on and off. You can try switching from Wi-Fi to LTE or vice versa. But if you get that endless CAPTCHA, you're kind of screwed. There's nothing you can really do except hope that you don't get that. And finally, of course, the next site that you will be going for is Nike Sneakers. This is going to be a Leo drop, which is basically a two to three minute raffle. So that's how much time you'll have to enter. 
you will want to get your entries in on different accounts mix up the devices mix up the payment methods try to switch up as much info as possible but definitely make sure you have a different payment method at the very least. Now again, pretty simple, just get your entries in. You have about two to three minutes, so after you go for Hibbit Sports, go here. This is gonna be a great site, especially if you're trying to resell. They have free cancels, free returns, and so does Hibbit Sports actually, as well as free shipping. So if you do want to resell these, at least go for Hibbit Sports and Nike Sneakers. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Just your standard retro Jordan release, standard retailers releasing. And again, as always, these are the sites I recommend going for. Hopefully that How to Cop portion did help you out. Also make sure you're entering in those raffles I talked about earlier. Those are gonna be very important, especially manually. But now we are gonna talk about these resale predictions. We're gonna hit Stock X and talk about whether or not these will be worth the cop in order to resell. All right, so as you guys can see, we are on Stock X and prices are looking pretty good. Last sale for a size 11 and a half was $327. We've got some very high bids. You know, sizes, larger sizes are obviously looking much better, but we've got bids like around 300 in a lot of different larger sizes, 290, size 12, size 11, 300, size 10, 290. So overall, the demand for this sneaker is 100% there. You can see they do release on the 10th and they will be $190. So I think there's no doubt these are gonna be profitable. The question is mostly how profitable. Personally, for me, I see these dropping a little bit. I see them getting to their lowest point, maybe around 240, but that's gonna be a few days after the drop. As far as on drop day, I say around 270, maybe 280, maybe as low as 260 on drop day, but probably not much lower than that. So there's definitely gonna be room for profit, especially if you can quick, quick flip these or if you can sell these locally. If you get multiple pairs and quick flip them or sell them locally, the profit is gonna add up. As far as one pair, I could see you making maybe 40 bucks, maybe 50 if you sell locally. Just kinda depends if you have tax in your state. There's a lot of different factors, but overall, these are gonna be profit. Now, they're not gonna be insanely profitable, but again, you get that money, you sell them, the, you get multiple pairs, you sell them the right way, the profit will add up. So I recommend sticking with sizes probably probably 9 to 13 if you do want to go for the worst margin you can definitely get like eight eight and a half but nine and a half 13 these are going to be the best sizes to cop the bigger sizes obviously as well but overall these are going to be a great cop a great quick flip or a great local sale and the profit will definitely be there so yeah guys that's pretty much it that's how to cop these those are my resale predictions as you can see definitely going to be some potential for some small lunch money on these nothing crazy i also highly recommend quick flipping when the prices are at their highest point if you hold on to them they're just going to drop and then maybe rise a little but overall it's not going to be worth the hold again though really hope this video helped you out hope if you want to pair for retail you are able to cop hope if you want to resell a couple pairs you can do that make some easy money again though thank you for watching i really hope this video helped you out and until next video guys peace out